Hello all, welcome to session 51 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about access specifiers. So let's get started. Access specifiers, also known as access modifiers, when specified before, class and its class members like variables and methods will modify their scope. How this access modifiers are specifiers will modify the scope of this class and class members I'm going to cover in this session. First of all, how many different access specifiers are there? Let me show you, okay? So the different access modifiers or specifiers that are available in C-Sharp are private, public, protected, internal, protected internal. These are the five access specifiers or modifiers that can be specified before class assigned its class members that is variables and methods, okay? When we specify this access specifiers or modifiers before this class members or classes, they will modify the scope of them, okay? How it will modify the scope of them, I'm going to cover later. So guys, uh, here is a small table, okay? So based on this table, I'll explain everything in this session, okay? This is the table we are going to follow. So what if we specify the private, then within the class, what's going to happen outside the class, what's going to happen outside the project, we are going to refer this table multiple times, okay, going ahead. Fine, anyhow, first of all, guys, to get uh, into the practical mode, okay, instead of theoretical mode, to get into the practical mode, first let's create a project, guys, okay? File new, project. So here, let's create an empty project. I'll just scroll down and uh, select and create an empty project. This is an empty project. Yes. Okay, here C sharp, all project types. Yes, all project types. Uh, not able to find the empty project. Okay. Yeah, here is the empty project. Let me select this empty project. You can search here actually, okay, empty, okay, and get it. That's the best way I feel. Click on next. Here, uh, give a project name. Let's say I'll say project one, I'll say, okay, project one. And uh, solution name I have to give. Uh, I'll say demo solution, okay? I'll just give some sample solution like demo solution. And I'll create this. Yes, the project uh, is getting created now. Let's wait for the project to be created. So just click on solution explorer. As you can see, your solution got created, demo solution. Under that project, project one got created. I'll create one more project now. Right click on the solution and I'll create one more project. Under the same solution, one more project I'll create. Again, empty. Just type empty here. We'll get the empty project here. Select next. I'll just name this as project two now. Project two. And uh, under the same solution, demo solution, let me create, click on create. Project one, project two, under the same solution. Fine. Under the project one, under the project one of this solution, I'll create a new class. Add new item. I'll select this class and I'll just name that as class one, class one. Click on add. You see class one got created, class one got created. I'll make it public. Okay, now after making it public, here under this, I'll create a variable. Okay, I'll create a variable. Say int a is equal to some nine. Okay, some variable. I'm creating, that's okay. Int a is equal to nine I'm creating. And uh, I'll create a method also. Public, public void some sample method. I'll say inside, inside sample method, inside sample method. Okay, there is a class. Inside the class, there is a variable and there is a method, okay, fine. Now guys, uh, you see, before I go depth, okay, so let's understand uh, this with what type of modifiers, that is access specifiers or modifiers that we can specify before the class, okay? So for classes, guys, we cannot, we cannot specify all these access modifiers or specifiers. Out of all this, we can only specify public and internal, okay? We can use only public and internal before the classes. Before the classes, we can only use public and internal. What is public, what is internal? All these things will be clear for you in a while, okay? 
but before the classes we cannot specify private protected and protected internal as you can see here here before the class 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 one public is specified what if i provide a provide a private will it take you see error will come it's not allowed we can only provide public here or other than that i can only provide internal okay but until all the access specifiers or modifiers are clear for you i'll provide classes public okay later i'll explain about classes fine so for now i'll put class as public and what is this public and all it will, will be clear for you and this variables and methods also i'll make it public okay this variable and method also i'll make it public public variable public method okay public variable and public method public class everything is public now now if everything is public what will happen public means they can be accessed outside the class okay public means these variables and methods which are specified as public can be accessed outside the class including the class is also public we can access this class variable and method outside the class that means i'll create one more class here uh, i'll also name it public public class i'll just mention that as class 2 inside this another class i want to access this class i want to access this variable i want to access this method can i access yes because what uh, access modifier or specifier is specified before the class public is there okay public means you can access within the class and outside the class also okay public means you can access this uh, the class or variable or method which is specified as public within the class and outside the class that means here we have this class and inside this class can i access this class yes you can access so first of all i'll create a method guys okay so public void i'll say sample to method okay inside the sample to how can i sure that uh, how can i be sure that i can access this class outside the outside this class how can i access this class in this class further guys within this method i'll try to create an object for this okay if i'm able to uh, create an object for this class one means i'm able to access this class okay the class is specified as which access modifier public that means we can access this class outside this class so in another class i can access this class so how to access class one this class one right class one c1 is equal to new class one okay if i'm able to create an object and uh, without any errors if i'm able to create an object means i'm able to access this class outside the class okay outside this class i'm able to access this class because this class is mentioned as public i'm able to create an object means i'm able to access now whether i'm able to access this variable and method which are also specified as public here public public are there right can i access this variable and method yes this variable and method also using this object reference i'll try to access so c1 dot a you see i can access right i'm able to access without any error i'm able to access then uh, c1 dot sample if i'm able to call this method then it's fine you see while i'm creating an object for the class while i'm uh, using the object reference to access the variable and method i'm not getting any errors but the moment i make this public as private and this particular public is also private if i make it then i'm going to get errors you see now i'm not able to access why just see the chart once so if you mention private within the class it's okay but outside the class no private specified variables and methods cannot be accessed outside the class only public specified okay public specified uh, variables and methods can be uh, accessed outside the class okay but within the class private can be accessed let me confirm that okay so let's try to access within the class so here there is a sample method i'll create one more method guys public within the class okay within this class one itself i'll create a method public void s s3 s3 something and uh, here i'll try to access this variable and uh, method and this particular method is belongs to the class only right within the class only it is there the class is starting from and ending here and there's another method within the same class within the same class can i access this private variables and methods yes we can access so within the class right i can access you see a i can say console dot uh, right line a and uh, i can call the method also i can call the method without any problem within the class there is no problem why because private access specifier or access modifier which is specified before variables and methods right if the private access modifier is specified before the variables and methods that variables and methods can be accessed only within the class 
this method also belongs to the same class, so I can access this variable line method, which is of private type. As you can see here, if you specify private before the class members, that is variables and methods, they can be accessed within the class, the way I'm accessing here. But if I try to access outside the class, like this, if I try to access outside the class, that variable, private variable and private uh, method, if I try to access outside the class, you are going to get errors because it is not possible, okay? It is not possible. So in order to make it possible, what I have to do? I have to make this private as public, private as public. Okay, so there, there's another doubt. What if I remove this public from here? What if I remove this public public from here? Then what, what by default, what is this? By default, what access modifier or specifier this, uh, very, uh, sorry, not this one. If I remove, this private or public uh, before this variable line method. So by default, which access modifier is specified here? By default, it is private only. So as you can see here, if you don't specify also, it is private. If you explicitly mention it as private, it's private. And if you don't explicitly mention anything, so apart from private, if you don't mention anything, then also it is private. That means here, this particular variable is not specified with uh, anything like private, public like that. That means it's by default private. Okay, this method also is not specified with public or private or whatever it is. By default, it is private. That's the reason you're getting still getting the errors. Explicitly, if you mention public here, explicitly when you mention public here, then you can access these variables and methods outside the class also. You see the errors are gone. This is what is all about the private and public guys. Okay, private and public. So this private and public can be accessed outside the project. You see within the class, only private, okay? Uh, with, uh, private can be accessed only within the class, but not outside the class. What about outside the project? Not at all, okay? What about public? Public can be accessed within the class, outside the class, and outside the project also. How can I be sure that? So for that, guys, here we'll go to this solution, and we already created another project. So in this project, I need to provide this project as a reference first, okay? In order to access this members of this uh, project, Okay, in order to access the members uh, class or class members of this project, first I have to uh, add this project as a reference to this project. So for that, I'll right click on this reference and select add reference and select a browse option here and click on browse option. And uh, I'll go to this uh, source folder, source repos, okay, my user's name folder, source repos. And here, which project that is uh, demo solution, right? Solution is demo solution. In that project one reference I have to provide, project one bin folder debug okay there is nothing for now so we have to debug it okay so how to make it debug and all so for that right click on the project and say properties it's console application okay uh, output type is console application say class library now run this once okay Okay, let's do one thing. Let me go here and say right click, add reference, browse, now browse, now browse, uh, repos, demo solution, project one, bin debug. You see DLL file is coming here. Uh, just select add that, add that and say okay. Okay, that's it, okay. That's it, uh, you added the project one now. Okay, this is the process guys, okay? Just uh, just select this option. I, I told you, right, what you have to select. Select properties and just change it to class library here. Okay, and then after that, uh, run the program, run this one of the class inside this project and uh, then come back here, uh, add reference and then add it, okay? This is a way to add, okay? If you don't find the DLL file, uh, do the steps that I have just now mentioned, like right click properties and select that uh, class library and then run the one of the class and then come to the other project and add the project, okay? Fine, now that's fine. Now what I will do here is, uh, here, uh, I added a project one in project two. After that, I'll add a new class here, add new item. I'll just select the class. Here I'll say class A, here I'll say class A, class A, click on add. So here I'll make it public. Inside this public class, Inside this public class, uh, I'll create a, 
okay public class has been created here so here i'll create a method guys public void some sample a i'll say sample a method now this is a this is out this is another project guys okay uh, i'm just trying to show you like what is if, if you specify public can we access that particular variables and methods of another project inside another project or not okay so here we are in project 2 now okay we are in project 2 from project 1 can access the public variables and methods so for that first in order to access the variables and methods outside the class what we have to do guys so here this variable and this method we have to access in another project but for that i have to first create an object for this class this is also public class is also public variable is also public and method is also public so now i'll come here and here in this method uh, what was the name of the class class one right i'll just try to create an object for the class one class one c1 is equal to new class one now hover the mouse on class one show potential fixes and use project one okay i can access because it's public right class is public so i can access outside the project also similarly i can access the variables and methods uh, using this object reference because they are also public public means public means we can access them outside the project also yes is there for outside project for public okay so here i'll show you console dot write line c1 dot a i can access the variable okay which belong to another project uh, then c1 dot sample method i can call this method also done you see there is no problem in this this is what is public guys this is what is public but what if i make it private private means only within the class i can access outside the class outside the project i cannot access so go to the first project and in that open the class one and here make them private i cannot make classes private you already know right if i try to make classes private you will get error there itself okay private is not uh, suitable for the classes only public public or internal is suitable for now we'll go with public i'll make this variable and method as uh, private so in that case what will happen just go to the other uh, projects class and see here you are already getting there outside the project we cannot access within the project also we cannot access within the same class we can access okay if it is specified as uh, private means if this variable and method are specified as private means only within the you see here only within the class only i'm able to access this variable and method but uh, outside the class within the same project outside the class i cannot access and outside the project also we cannot access everywhere we are getting the errors okay so private and public hope everyone is clear okay so private within the class we can access but outside the class outside the project we cannot access public means within the class we can access outside the class we can access outside the project also we can access which i showed you again if i change it to uh, again if i go to this class and make it public the variable and method as public here if i make this uh, public 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 now i can access from everywhere i can access from outside the class i can access outside the project we can access okay you see no errors that's it so private and public are done now let's go with the protected guys okay now let's go with the protected protected means protected means uh, uh, within the class you can access that is uh, it it is like similar to private guys okay protected is nothing but private except that for child classes so for child classes it will be public protected is nothing but equal to private except for child class okay that means if i make this two variables okay here instead of uh, public if i make them protected protected if i provide they are equal to they are also pro private only protected means private only guys okay if i make, mention them as protected means protected is also equal to private only within the class i can access but outside the class i cannot access you see outside the class i cannot access outside the project also outside the project also we cannot access right because protected is equal to what protected is equal to private only except for but there is a uh, there is a difference between private and protected okay protected is equal to private except for except for child classes that means inheritance if you implement inheritance then uh, it will be it will not be private okay protected means private for everything except for child classes that means here if i make them protected within the class i can access but outside the class i am able not able to access but if i make this particular class as a child class of this class one okay class one then how can i access how can i access them 
So we can inherit, right? Class two is inheriting the class one. So it can access now. This protected things can be accessed now. How? Since it is a CW, A, you see, I can access. No problem. Sample method I can call without any problem. Okay, you see, I can access only for the child classes. It is not private. Protected means by default, protected means private, except for child classes. If this particular class is a child class, then we can still access. Same thing outside the project also same thing guys. Here, if I make this class A, if I make this class A, you see by default, uh, by default you have seen, right? You are getting errors here because uh, protected means private. Outside the class, it is private, okay? Protected means outside the class, the variables are, uh, methods are acting as private. They cannot be accessed. But if this particular class, even outside the project is also a child class, then we can access. I'll remove this code. And here I'll make this uh, class A, the child class of class one, okay? Then once I make this uh, class A child class of class one, you see I can access, I can access the variable line method which are protected, okay? Without any problem I can access. So that is what is protected guys. Protected means private. Protected is equal to private except for the child classes. Whether it's in the, within the project or outside the project doesn't matter. It is uh, it's uh, only for child uh, child classes. It can be accessible. Remaining all classes, it is private. Okay, protected means within the class. Yes, outside the class only for child classes. Private for other classes. Okay, outside the project also only for child classes, but private for other non-child classes. Okay, that's what is protected. Then let's go with the internal. Okay, let's go with the next access uh, access uh, specifier or modifier that is internal. Okay, what is this internal? What will happen if I provide internal for internal I can provide to the class also. So for, for now I'll remove this uh, child classes concept from everywhere. Here also I'll make this uh, normal class. I'll remove this uh, accessing and all. So here guys, uh, I'll make this internal. Okay, this particular class I'll make it internal. And uh, this particular variable also I'll make it internal. This particular method also I'll make it internal. Okay, three things I'm making it internal. This class and its members that is variable line method, I'm making it internal. What will happen if it is internal means? Internal means within the project. Okay, within internal is equal to what? I'll explain. Internal is public. Internal is equal to public, is equal to public only, but within the project. Within the project, it is public private for private for outside the project outside the project it is private that means if you mention internal before a class or variable or method they can be accessed within the project anywhere this class variable and method can be accessed anywhere within the project but outside the project we cannot access okay let's see that so i have meant this uh, class as internal this variable as internal and this method also as internal now uh, within the same project project one uh, and another class if i try to access this uh, class variable and method let's try to create an object for class one here can i create yes within the project it is public so we can create c1 is equal to new class one you see without any problem i can create an object for the class and uh, i can access the variable and method like this you see i can access variable because within the project it is public okay internal means within the project it is public C1 dot sample without any problem I can access. But outside the project, outside the project, it is private. So here, if I try to create an object for the class one, class one, C1 is equal to new class one. If I say, okay, class one, C1 is equal to new class one means due to protection level, you cannot access because it is private outside the, the class has become, class cannot be accessed outside the project, okay? Internal means only within the project, guys, okay? Cannot access. If you are not able to create an object for the class, how can you access the variable and method, okay? They are, they are also not possible, done, okay? That's what is internal, guys. As you can see here, internal means within the class, okay. Outside the class, okay. But outside the project, no, okay? Within the project, it's okay, guys, okay? Within the project, they are public. The class variable and method are public. 
within the project, but outside the project, they are they cannot be accessed. That's what is internal. And finally, we have the last access uh, modifier or specifier that is protected and internal together. Okay. So protected and internal, if you use, means within the class, yes. Outside the class, public. Public uh, within project, okay. Within project, it is public, right? Uh, internal means public within project already. So you can access anywhere within the project, okay. So it's similar to internal actually. Protected internal means internal is provided means within the project everywhere public. But outside the project, if you say protected internal means outside the project here no is there, but here protected is there. Protected outside, okay. That means child classes outside the project can still access. So here, uh, what we can do here is uh, I'll show you one one thing. So here, for now, what is there? For now, the class is mentioned as internal, and the variables and methods are also mentioned as internal, right? I'll make this class as public here. I'll make this class as public. But can I access these variables and methods outside the internal variables and methods outside the project? Class one, C one, I can access because class one is now public, so I can access without any problem outside the project. This is outside the project. I'm trying to access it. This is project two. So I can access because class one is mentioned as class one in project one is mentioned as public, so I can access outside the project. But can I access the variable and method? They are still internal, right? So let's try to do that. C one dot C one dot A. I cannot access. You see, I cannot access because internal means outside the project. They are private or cannot be accessed. C one dot sample is also not possible. Sample is also not possible because outside the project they cannot be accessed. That's what is the problem. What if I mention? What if I mention instead of internal? If I mention them, variables and methods as protected, protected, protected internal. Then outside the project, is there any change? Still no change. Okay, because protected means child classes can access. Can child classes outside the project? If I make this uh, class A a child class of class one, then. What about this? Can I access those internal protected things? Okay, internal protected things. Internal means within within project public, but outside the project, that is protected. Okay, here whether it is protected or not, let's see. Uh, let's try to do that. Uh, let's say console dot write line a. You see, I can access sample. Okay, child classes can access. That is what is internal protected. Okay, but what if uh, I make I go back again? And instead of I'll remove this protected outside. Okay, then what will happen? You cannot access. You cannot access them. Okay, you cannot access them. Even though you create an object and all, also you cannot access. Okay, fine. So this is what is a protected internal again. Protected internal means within the project it is internal. That is public everywhere within the project. But outside the project it is protected. But in case of normal internal. Within the project, it is public, but outside the project, you cannot access whether it can be child class or non-child class. We cannot access. But if you mention project, it means at least child classes outside the project can access public within the project, and outside the project, uh, project uh, the child classes can only access. Okay, this is what is the table, and uh, these are the different access modifiers or specifiers that we can specify before the classes, variables, and methods, which will change or modify the scope of the class and its class members. That is variables and methods. So hope guys you understood uh, the different access member access specifiers and how to use them with the classes uh, and class members like variables and methods in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another C#.NET topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.